uh, Keimer and David, maybe for the people who are not aware, you can uh, tell us a bit about the match that the two had in the recently concluded World Cup. Yeah, so Vincent Keimer, he's still young, he's a teenage talent from Germany and uh, in the recent World Cup that Michael Carlson went on to win. Uh, 
and the last use of Night Fork would have ended this game. Uh, so Magnus did get a decisive advantage. Uh, the biggest shock to me was that he didn't play this move Bishop to d5, just uh, trapping the Black Queen uh, on the c8, as we showed a bit earlier. Instead, he kept the material balance, just pushed a strategic advantage, and this is the game position. Kaima down under five minutes now. Maybe we check in with the other games in this match quickly, starting with board uh, two Grandinius against Sadvani. Okay, and this one we predicted would end in a draw. It looks very, very balanced. Uh, Black has a beautiful bishop cemented on d5, but it's just the presence of opposite color bishops uh, makes me skeptical. Either side can break through. Uh, Black King looks pretty active. Yeah. White can give a couple of checks uh, if desired. Okay, so uh, let's move on now to board three. Arian Tari against Navara. Wow, Arian Tari really fighting for his life here with White. It should be holdable. Um, actually, okay. Um, Rook to f8, last move. Can you just exchange everything? Well, he takes on f8 that is going to be recaptured, and now if you're happy to make a draw, do you just swap queens? Quite likely. Um, you have to be a bit careful because Black's Rook is much more active than White's Rook. Black's King also, if the Queens disappear, has a route into the position. Um, still a long way to go before dreaming of winning this one as Black, but it's only Black who can win. White is the one trying to uh, prevent, for example, Black's Rook coming down to the second rank. Um, yeah, Tari, he's just been trying to force draws. Uh, he's had four Whites out of five uh, games so far. He's been struggling all of them. Not in form right now, and I think this would be a board that Navarro uh, and Nobby Ball would have been trying to target. Yeah, it looks like he is holding it, but as you say, only Black uh, can win. Let's see the last game that we haven't caught up with uh, board six, Gaga against Urkadal. Yeah, and when, when we were on a break just a few minutes ago, I was wondering around Urkadal, kind of head in hands, but Raga was shaking back and forth in his seat, and I didn't see the clocks, but it does appear that Raga only has four minutes left. Um, he actually sacrificed a piece not that long ago. Let's just show that moment. Uh, it was here where White had just pushed a pawn to f5, and um, this was ignored and allowed uh, this capture on g6. Urkadal, having calculated that he could block with his bishop, and I mean, to me, this looks mightily scary with all sorts of checks in the air. But he'd worked out that a knight on f8 does not allow checkmate, and okay, it looks like. On. White does have a draw up his sleeve. He throws towards c4 from where it could uh, leap forward. And okay, we see a result there. In Magnus Carlsen's game, Magnus winning a huge uh, game on board one for his team off a spiel and taking advantage, obviously, by Mr. Keimer. We'll go back to that match in a second. Let's just check in with the last two games he really quick. We'll see how Magnus's game ended. How his teammates are getting 